Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, along with Ruben Amaro. We're here from Greg Murphy, who's just wandering around the ballpark in just a little bit. All right, Ruben, so last night there were a lot of positives in that ninth inning to set up Roman Quinn scoring. Yeah, really awesome job. Four elements at, at work here. You've got Bryce Harper. He spreads out, tough pitcher in Seth Lugo, makes good, solid contact with two strikes, gets a big base hit. You got JT Real Muto, great fundamentals. He slides back behind home plate. He directs traffic, makes sure that Roman Quinn gets to the right side of the plate. And you got Dusty Waffen. Dusty Waffen does a great job of knowing exactly what Wilson Ramos is as far as his athleticism and making a tag. He knows Roman Quinn's speed. He knows Conforto's arm strength. Nice job of sending him. And then finally, you got Roman Quinn. What an athlete. He's got great speed, but he also great slide and sliding that hand in there. Typically, you don't want that guy to slide his hand in there. <laughs> But he certainly did a good job there. Yeah, and he said last night and even today that it was important what JT Romuto was doing just to direct that traffic. All right, so that sets up now game number two. And for the Phillies, an advantage because they have one of the best pitchers in baseball in Aaron Nola on the mound. Yeah, T-Mac, Aaron Nola has just been lights out. His last two outings have been spectacular, particularly against the Braves and the Yankees, two great offensive teams. Breaking balls, change-ups, his off-speed stuff has been outstanding. He has had... 14 innings, 22 strikeouts, and only one walk. Really, ex almost exactly like he was thrown as a two in 2018 when he was a Cy Young Award candidate. Really like his stuff. Very poised as usual. Really good stuff overall, and I'm looking forward to him tonight. Well, it's plus pitches across the board for Aaron Nola. The plus fastball and curveball we knew, but in 2020, it's a plus changeup. Hill getting set to make the start. Let's look at the Mets lineup brought to you by Xfinity, your home. For the return of live sports, Brandon Nimmo leads it off. He's in center field. Michael Conforto bats second. J.D. Davis hits third. Dominic Smith cleanup. Let's see what he's done his last eight games. Pete Alonso for the third time in four games is hitting fifth for the New York Mets. They'll face Aaron Noah. Noah one and one this year. An earned run average of 2.79. 29 strikeouts in 19 in the third innings of work. He's been composed. He keeps saying it's weird to pitch in front of well nobody <laughs> but you would think that his his heart rate is so rhythmic anyway he doesn't it, he doesn't get phased by yeah i was gonna say it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal but he was smiling when he said it he is pretty chill he's very chill <laughs> all right brandon nimmo will lead it off Overcast Xfinity, your home for the return of live sports. Andrew McCutcheon leads it off in left field. Then Reese Hoskins, Bryce Harper hits third, JT fourth. Gene Segura with the lefty on the mound, moved up to the number five spot, and then Didi. Bottom third of Goslin, Bohm, and Kingry. And they'll face left-hander Steven Matz, 0-3 with an earned run average of 8.20. And Ruben, look at the uh, batting average against 316, eight home runs allowed in four starts. Yeah, you know, he's got the propensity to give up that home run, and he's uh, you know, really struggling to keep the ball out of the middle of the strike zone. And that's kind of been his M.O. You know, he's always been one of those guys that uh, was always on the come, right? He was supposed to be that, you know, the, the, the next Cole Hamels for the Mets, mm -hmm. and uh, has never really.